Hey guys, welcome to another session of Vida Victory. I am Nandita Arora and we will today continue with our previous topic of hepatomegaly. And for those who have not watched the previous video, the link is in the description. And now let's start with the differential diagnosis of hepatomegaly with some other diseases. So when we are differentiating viral hepatitis from hepatomegaly, we have to keep in mind a dark upset jaw. Up dark indicates the dark colored urine of the patient. Upset indicates obviously the gastrointestinal that is the GI tract upset because viral hepatitis and hepatomegaly both are related to the abdominal disorders. So therefore the GI upset and third is very important on third or fourth day of viral hepatitis we will find jaundice in that patient. Obviously jaundice ke detection ke liye serum bilrubin, serum bilverdin. So these are the components. So that is a uh, different thing. So what we have to see when we are differentiating DD when we are doing we have to see what? dark upset and jaw or and the associated features will be splenomegaly, hepatomegaly, these will be the associated features but the major complaint of the patient when we have these three triads that will lead to viral hepatitis. So that is basically the diagnosis, proper diagnosis of viral hepatitis. So if hepatomegaly, we will see palpate karke dekhenge hi, but uski major complaint jo hogi, the treatment will be done according to that. So we have to keep in mind this. So now when we differentiate hepatomegaly from amoebic liver abscess, so what we will find, we will find obviously the patient will have fever, he will have chills with rigors and the liver will be tender. Obviously the liver, when we will palpate the liver, we will um, find hepatomegaly along with some liver tenderness. And two most important things in amoebic liver abscess that will help us to diagnose it more accurately. First is when we will ask the, ask the patient about some history of his um, consistency and frequency of the stools, we will find that he will have the blood mixed stool. That is, some blood and mucus will be mixed in the stool in the past history. He will have complaints of this in the past. That might or may not be in the present, right? And second most important is when we'll do aspiration of that particular um, material, that will be Encovy source material. So obviously, when we'll see that uh, the material is like that, like this, we will sure short say that it is amoebic liver abscess and due to that amoebic liver abscess is the main cause and due to that hepatomegaly has happened so hepatomegaly is secondary but primary thing is amoebic liver abscess now hemochromatosis hemochromatosis and uh, hepatomegaly how we can differentiate between the two hemochromatosis may we have to just remember a trite now the trite will consist of three things first the patient will have pigmentation on the skins as shown in the uh, diagram or above. He or she will have pigmentations on the skin. Second, the diabetes mellitus. He will be suffering from a diabetes. He or she will be a patient of diabetes. So we can check the HbA1c level or we can check the blood glucose level and accordingly we can uh, accurately diagnose it and third thing will be liver cirrhosis so uh, these three trites that is skin pigmentation diabetes mellitus and cirrhosis so these three things will account for hemochromatosis and obviously in hemochromatosis the iron level in the serum will be raised than normal but these three things will also be present and in that case the primary thing will be hemochromatosis and from that hemochromatosis secondarily we will have hepatomegaly so the treatment will be done accordingly so when we'll differentiate kala azar from hepatomegaly obviously the patient will be suffering from fever that is long standing or chronic fever and second thing will be uh, there will be anemia the patient will be immunocompromised or the immunity will decrease and that will result in anemia weight loss and the person will feel very weak third thing will be some dark pigmentation will be seen in the case of kala azar now remember dark pigmentation was also in hemochromatosis right it was not dark it was skin pigmentation when we uh, studied the trite so skin pigmentation and dark pigmentation you should be able to differentiate between these two things and the most important thing in Kalazar will be when we'll do the bone culture test, bone marrow culture test, there will be Donovan cell bodies. Donovan cell bodies will be seen and that is a microscopic thing obviously. So uh, these are the features that can help us to differentiate it from hepatomegaly. So the primary cause will be Kalazar and secondary will be Hepatomegaly. Now when we differentiate biliary obstruction from hepatomegaly, the patient will feel some very 
colicky pain on the right upper abdomen. Obviously, that is the site of liver and the bile, the gallbladder. So he or she will feel colicky pain on that part. Secondly, that will be the major complaint of the patient. Secondly, he will have nausea, he will have GI upset, vomiting, right? And along with it, that patient can have edema and all those things associated and obviously in that case when we have some idea that it may be biliary obstruction we can go for radiographic examinations and x-rays and other uh, other tools can help us to diagnose better for biliary obstruction